Hello, in this video, I will show you how to create a glass facade like this one in Revit architecture using the cut and wall tool. In the architecture tab, go to wall and pick wall architectural and create a wall segment in level one floor plan. For the type, pick generic 300 millimeter. Base constraint level one, top constraint unconnected at eight meter. Click escape. Go to the 3D view and type WT to tile the views. Then type ZA to zoom both to zoom the objects. This wall which you have just created is going to be the main wall into which we are going to embed this cotton wall. Pick the wall and in the clipboard click on copy then in paste use align to same place. Revit is warning about the overlap. There are two walls now. It is okay. While the wall is still selected, change the length to 8 meter. The unconnected height make it 6 meter 500. That means we have given a margin of half meter on one meter on either side and one and a half meter at the top. While the wall is still selected, go to the type and select cut and wall and the first one, the cut and wall. Now go to edit type once again and choose automatically embed. Click on apply. Before you say OK, duplicate it and give a different name that may give you glass front click OK OK again that means this wall is now embedded into the main wall go to the south elevation And we have to now divide this large panel into the divisions as shown. We have one, two, three, four vertical divisions and one, two, three, four horizontal divisions. Once we divide it, we then add mullions or framing onto the grid lines. You cannot add the mullions directly. You need grid lines first. In architecture tab, go to cut and grid. If you move your mouse on the horizontal edge of the cut and wall, you'll get a vertical grid. If you move on the vertical edge you can create a horizontal grid line create vertical first the length doesn't matter we will adjust it later so four once you created those vertical go to the align dimension then Dimension those grid lines starting from the left grid line. Click outside 
And before you escape, click on the equality constraint. That means you have divided these grid lines equally. Delete the dimension. And when it's asking for unconstrained, push unconstrained. We don't want it constrained. Now, for the horizontal grids, go to the cut and grid once again and click at random locations. Again, we will adjust it. Right. Pick the first grid line and type the value which you want. In this case, 800 is okay. Now pick the next one. I want this to be 2 meter 500. So I'll click there and type 2 meter 500. The one which you pick will be the one which moves. Now if I pick this grid line, that will move with respect to this and this. I want this one to be 800. So pick there and type 800. Pick the top one and make it 800 again. We have now divided the panel into grid lines. Now we want to add the mullions. In the architecture tab, go to mullions, pick mullions. In the type selector, you can choose one from the list or you can create your own. For example, let's say I want 50 by 100. So go to edit type, duplicate it, change the values, you'll get a new one. In this case, I'll use 50 by 150. We have to now tell the Revit where you want to add those mullions. I want them to be on all the grid lines. I'll pick on all grid lines and pick the grid system. Change the view to shade it so we can see it better. We have now mullions on all the grid lines. I will show you one more thing here. Let us say I want the top to be like an hour, not a straight line. Here is the way to do it. Pick the cut and wall and when you see edit profile, you will see it only when you pick the whole thing. If you pick the one of the element here, you will not see it. So pick the whole cut and wall and when you see the edit profile, click on edit profile. This is the profile of the wall. I want this top one to be uh, as an arc, not a straight line. So pick the line, delete it, then create an arc. You can create whatever shape you want. Click OK. Revit is having problem with one of the mullions. Delete that. It is OK. Now, one mullion is most missing here at the top. Go to mullion, then select that grid line. Now you have mullion there. Like this, you can create the millions of whatever shape. That's it for this video. The cut and wall tool is a great tool with a variety of applications and if you want to learn Revit architecture or other software from basic to advanced levels here in Bahrain, you can WhatsApp me on this number or contact me through email and I'll be happy to help you. Thanks for watching this video and have a nice day.